25 years ago probably makes us uh, sound, sound old, but you know, um, you scored the goal um, against Airdrie in, in the Scottish Cup final. I think that was Celtic's first trophy in seven years. How, how, how good a feeling is that for yourself? Uh, the feeling was unbelievable because uh, I, I started the game uh, actually with an injury that the, I put my hamstring on the loan at C Mail where we 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 stayed overnight and and we we had a uh, yeah we had a game on the on on the grass there with with uh, two jackets as goalpost and and it was more like a fun game and then all of a sudden I I, I felt my hemi so I I was unbelievably doubtful for that game but I wanted to start because it was my 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 first final and and, and a, a massive one so I, I wanted to take part and uh, yeah I took part and l luckily Tosh McKinley crossed that ball uh, after nine minutes so I could I could score uh, but after 25 minutes it just give me a little push and I lost my balance boom hamstring again so I had to come off so you had done your work were, anyway. Yeah, the, what was uh, after afterwards? You were you you were right, but uh, I didn't feel uh, I didn't feel it that way uh, at that moment, and and you know it was a horrible horrible final, you know where we struggled to actually score the second goal, uh, but I was happy overall that we didn't score the second goal because. <laughs> The, the strikers, strikers always yeah. like yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 the man yeah, yeah. with one hamstring win the cup for Celtic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 What, what, you know, you said some, you said exceptional um, uh, striking options. You that Andreas Tom, the Canio Cadet, yourself. What, what do you think was the perfect fit? Who did you enjoy playing with the most? Um, I enjoyed maybe I, I think Andreas Tom. And he is uh, very often he's he's forgotten because people are talking about Van Hooydonk, Di Canio, Cadet. Uh, yep. But the the reason why I'm saying this is is Andreas was so unbelievable, unselfish that that even when he was having the ball on the goal line, he, he would square the ball for you. You know, he didn't care. You know, that was his his job was not uh scoring 25 goals a season he scored 10 and he created 15 or 20 probably you know so uh having of playing alongside somebody like him uh gives you as a striker as a number nine a very good feeling because you know one thing he creates opportunities for you and uh paulo created opportunities as well but he also loved, you know, he was dribbling past one, dribbling past the second one, the third, and then sometimes he wanted to take on uh, number four, five, six, and seven as well. Well, passing the ball would have been a better option, uh, but he was he was unbelievable to play with as well. Uh, George was more, uh, he was most the one who was uh, most selfish from from the four of us uh, he wanted just to be in the box just there always uh, on the edge uh, on the shoulder getting balls in behind uh, and, and that combination uh, worked out well with me because i was terribly slow so i never made make a made a run in behind so i was always asking for the ball in my feet but when you have somebody with a threat who is asking for the balls in behind, you know, it's it's hard for defenders. You know what it's like. Did Fergus McCann play a, a, a part in your, your departure from Celtic Pier? Yeah, of course, because he was the one I had to negotiate with. And he was the one who, on the day that I signed, told me, uh, as soon as you prove to be, uh, to be a Celtic player, I'll be the first one to... Uh, to raise your salary. I was not earning a lot because I came from uh, a small contract in Holland. Uh, 
uh, but I want to go for the challenge. And and uh, yeah, I think after uh, not even a year, I think everybody could see that I could I could do a job for Celtic. And he waited, uh, he waited, and then he wanted to extend the contract. So he yeah he, he he doubled he doubled my wages but that doesn't say anything does it <laughs> he doubled a bit of still rubbish is that what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah no the thing the thing is that it wasn't uh, uh i felt uh, and i don't think that i i was uh operating myself uh, i felt that i was in the in the in the group um of of our best players uh but salary wise there wasn't a case not even close uh, after he doubled it